Hey team, welcome back to the PM Garage. Today we're doing another maintenance video. This time it's on my 90 horsepower four stroke Mercury outboard engine. I'm getting my boat ready for winter because it's getting cold here in Canada. We're gonna go change the engine oil, then we're gonna change the lower gear unit oil. So stay tuned, we'll get right to it. Okay, here's a list of materials for today's engine oil change and gearbox lube change. We've got a grease gun to grease the prop shaft. We've got a half inch inside diameter hose that's to run the oil from the sump on the engine down into the catch basin. Uh, it's just not spill all over the floor. We've got our mercury engine oil. We've got a engine oil filter. We've got the gear lube. We've got a gear lube pump, a 10 millimeter uh, ratchet, a inch and 1 16th uh, ratchet to take the prop off and a flathead screwdriver and a funnel. Oh, and these things, the little crush washers that go for the uh, drain for the gear lube. One goes on the top, one goes on the bottom, I'm just gonna replace them. Okay, first step here is that we gotta take the prop off the engine. Um, that's pretty easy to do, you need a one and one sixteenth socket. Um, there's two little tabs that, lock, that uh, hold onto the lock nut. Um, you gotta splay those out, so I'll do that with the screwdriver and then uh, take the nut off. You can see the tab right here, there's another one down here. Those are flat, now I can take off the lock nut. Just gonna use standard inch and 1 16th socket. Should come off pretty easy. Okay, just hold your prop. If you need to prop it up on something, like a block of wood, just to keep from spinning, <clears throat> you can. It comes off pretty easy though. Not on too tight. The threads are long, takes a while to crank off. You can't crank it off by hand, it's got actually um, a lock washer on it. Or sorry, it's a lock nut, so it's got the nylon on it. There. There's a nut. Focus, yeah, here. There you go, the nylon lock in it. Put that aside so you don't lose it. Pull your retaining clip out that you just bent down. There it is there, it's out. Just two little tabs. Okay, and then your prop should come off. Yeah, there, props off. Take this little washer out, don't lose anything. Put it separate, we'll deal with the rest of that later. Next step is to take out the drain plug for the gear oil. It's a 10 millimeter socket. I'm gonna undo it. Um, it's really thick oil, so it doesn't actually just come flowing out. So you can do this without a catch under it and then just get something to put under it real quick. Maybe I'll grab some paper towel. Get some dribbles a little bit. Okay. Yeah, okay. Doesn't come out too quick. All right, there's your plug. It's out. The upper level plug for the gear oil is up here, just above the prop shaft. You can see it, it's right here. And use a big giant screwdriver and undo it. Once you do that, gear lube should flow. Okay, I hope the camera can see it. Put a little light on it, there you go. It just oozes out slowly. It's super blue. Um, mine, mine's really clean. I didn't get my boat out half as much as I should have this year. But yeah, we'll just let it ooze out. And while it's doing that, we'll set up the hose and uh, get the engine oil draining. We're back on the same side of the engine as the drain plug was for the gear lube. Now we're gonna go up to this fitting, which is just above it. And that is for your engine oil. So we're gonna attach our 
half inch inside diameter hose to the fitting and run your hose down into your your oil pan try to get it to secure there somehow yeah there we go try not to make a mess uh, I forgot there's one more wrench to be used uh, it's a 5 8 and I should be able to back this off just to the point where oil starts coming out There we go. There we go. There. I'm just running it down into my oil pan. Next step, we'll take off the cowling and we'll work on the oil filter. So I popped the dipstick to help the oil drain out. Uh, here is the oil filter and Mercury makes a little plug here. You can pull it out and you should be able to fit your half inch hose on it. If you got some more of it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, put your half inch hose and you run that down into your, into your oil pan. So that way any oil that escapes from your oil filter ends up going into the drain. You don't get it all over your engine. Very convenient. Okay, I can use a strap wrench. I thought I could get it off by hand, but my hands are too greasy from spilling the lube on the ground, so I'm just gonna use a strap wrench to give it a little bit extra. A little bit extra oomph. I would use a oil filter wrench if you got one. See, see how there's barely anything in it? It's because it all sinks down into the sump, which is great. We'll get the new one. Okay, this is the old one. Notice the number. This is the new one that replaces it. They look a little bit different inside. Should be equivalent, should work out, should be the same thread. So, put that one on. They have this big rubber gasket on the outside. You can see it. I'm just going to dip my finger in some oil. I'm going to lube it up just to make better contact. There we go. And then on we go. Finger tight. Finger tight if you can get it on. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going well. Hmm. There we go. Should go on nice and easily. Tighten it down as much as I can with my hand. Actually, it's probably as tight as it needs to go. Okay, tighten it down by hand. I'm gonna use the strap wrench. And I'm just gonna give it Probably not even a quarter of a turn, but just a little bit to snug it down, just a little bit more. If I can get it out without getting everything. Come on. Yeah, a little bit. There you go. Perfect. It's not coming off. Dipstick still loose, oil still draining. Okay, that's it for the oil filter. I'm gonna let the rest of the engine oil drain out and uh, then we'll come back. The oil filter drain actually has nothing in it. It worked pretty well. This is the drain for the uh, sump of the engine oil. And as you can see, it's still dripping. The uh, gear lube oil is still slowly oozing out. It takes a while, actually. It's probably been about 10 minutes. Everything's still going. I opened up the reservoir for the oil just to let a little air in, let it breathe, help with the draining of oil. It's taking a long time. I'm actually gonna disconnect this hose now let the oil filters back in. I'm gonna put the plug, little yellow plug back in. I'm gonna try not to hook everything and get it all full of oil with one hand. Here's the plug. Just to plug that little catch that's underneath the 
oil filter there. Oil filter's changed. I'm actually going to put the dipstick back in properly right now so I don't forget it. If anyone else has this engine and you take out this dipstick, do you hit your fingers on this every time? Yes, I do. <laughs> I hope you don't because it's annoying. It's well in there at least. Oil has finished draining. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to remove my hose. Okay, we're going to take off the hose. And then we're going to tighten down the fitting till it's hand snug. Okay, that's on. Okay, next thing's next. We're going to put the oil back. Um, just goes in this fill cap at the top. It says right on it, oil. And uh, it takes 5.2 liters. It actually says on the front of the engine, on the, and it also says in the manual, uh, 10W30. And I bought the Mercury four-stroke specific engine oil for this engine. So, 5.2 liters. Oh, we gotta go in slow. Okay, I'm gonna dump in the first five liters, and then I'll come back. Okay, now I'm gonna throw in the what I think is the last 200 mils. Because it takes 5.2 liters, so I'm going to estimate the last 200 mils based on this bottle, which isn't a lot. And then, uh, it's hard to see. Okay, I'm not going to overfill it, I'm just going to put a bit in to see where we're at. I'm going to actually let it sit for a while, so while I let it sit, you can hear the dogs. While I let it sit, I will fill the gear case with oil. Next up, we're going to take the pump. And we're going to take this end of this little fitting. And we're going to thread it into the drain hole on the bottom of the gear case. It's a bit of a pain. Take your time. <laughs> okay. Then open up your gear oil, your gear lube. Put your pump in, tighten it down, connect your fitting, try not to bend or break anything. There you go. Okay. And it's very viscous, so just pump slowly to get in the oil. Sorry, the gear oil. There. Okay. Now you gotta do takes 800 milliliters so as you just slowly pump and as the air comes out the air hole here once the oil starts coming out the hole you've gone far enough so I'll just keep pumping slowly till we get to that point to where it starts to ooze out gets a little harder to pump as you Fill the gear case, a little bit more resistance. A little more of that viscous fluid on top of each other. Oh, see an air bubble going in, it's getting close to the bottom. Definitely takes some time. It's important not to rush it, you just want all the air to come out. Oh, and there you go. All right. Okay. I'm gonna let it ooze out onto the floor in classic pop and roll style. I'm just gonna do a little quick dab here and I'm gonna let it sit. Probably gonna let it sit for 10, 15 minutes, as is. And uh, basically I'm just gonna see, let it settle, let any air come out, and then I'm gonna do one more pump and I'll put it back together. Okay, in the meantime, 
I'm going to switch out these little gaskets that are on the plugs for the gear oil. Brand new ones. They're cheap. They're like little squash washers. I just replace them because they keep water out and oil in. Okay. There's one. So that's the top plug. We'll do this one. <laughs> There's a dog sneaking around here. <laughs> Here's the plug that hides behind the prop on the bottom. <laughs> Don't lose it. Okay. We'll let this wait. Okay. Ten minutes are up. We're going to do one more pump. And then we're going to put the plug back in. Okay. We'll ooze some more on the floor. Why not? It's cool. And, uh, yeah. We'll pump a little bit more in. Slowly. more comes out a little bit come out I give it one more pump just for the hero yeah okay and then uh, plug it should be good oh. <laughs> it's hard to do when reach around the camera there we go my hand there's again there we go there done okay all right next step is to take off your um your oil pump excuse me doggy okay this is a little bit more precarious it's not going to come rushing out so don't worry about that actually maybe i'll grab the Put it right into the oil pan. There we go. Put the plug back in. There we go. There's our 10 mil. There we go. Tighten. There. Just enough to crush that washer. Okay. I'm just going to clean up, then I get the prop back on. Okay. I just cleaned everything off with a rag. I'm just going to put a little grease onto the prop shaft to help things slide a little better. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. Oh, don't forget to check uh, check your prop shaft for any um, fishing line or anything spun around it. You don't want uh, any fishing line cutting around the bearings. Okay, prop shaft. Uh, sorry, the prop goes on same way it came off. Uh, you got your washer goes on like that. Then your sh prop. Your retaining clip goes in. There's two little tabs in there that it clips onto to hold it steady. 
And actually, you know what? I'm gonna bend this down a little bit just to make them easier to grab. Hold on. Okay. We'll put this back in. We'll put our prop nut back on. Come on. There we go. Okay, now to bend those hand those tabs back, I'm just gonna use a pair of channel locks, grab the edge of it, flatten one at a time. Here's one. Grab the other. There. Okay. Done. Cross back on, gear oil's changed. Last thing to do is to uh, check the oil level, the dipstick. Pull it out. Yeah. Okay. Where is it? Yeah, right there. Perfect. So I'm going to take the boat outside. I'm going to hook it up to the earmuffs and uh, I'm going to run it for two minutes to get the oil to circulate. Then I'll bring it back in. I'll add some more oil if I need to. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Hey, water's coming out okay. Seems to be good coverage. Yeah, all right, Let's start up. Make sure it's in neutral. Tail starting, we got water flow. It's not the best water flow in the world. There we go. Okay. That's it for the uh, boat maintenance. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.